what is up? Here's a game between Nebion and Daver. It's um SP meta versus FS ST meta. And we have the uh Aeroy Rifflord out already as well as the Hy Hyenid that uh you know has twisted and um you know defiled like now let's see what happens here. All right, all right. Just checking out the map. See what's up. Ooh, this is new. Um, now new as in I don't think I've seen Daver play this champ too often. Um, Club the Devourer. Actually, the hero has the ooh pummel. I always go with the uh, um, not pummel, but the other one. The Rage attack that takes 8 HP away, but I might try this as well. Um, I think the the reason I use the other one is because it makes them cheaper, as well as um, you can then with four yeah with four AP you can hit as well. But the nice thing about this is you can um, or the nice thing about the the blood rage attack, whatever I forgot what it's called, you can attack if you have one AP left, right? So you can move up for seven and hit once with that. Well, with this, no matter what, you can hit double. But only with four, while with the other one you can hit once for eight, um, which sometimes can come in handy if they're very far away and they're about to die. You can run up, you know, seven spaces or whatever, eight spaces, nine spaces, and then hit them once with the, the blood rage attack or whatever it's called. Um, but I haven't tried this in a really long time. I just, I sometimes I just forget like that they have other like pretty good upgrades. And pummel's not bad, so I might try pummel. Uh, it doesn't take the HP away, which is always nice as well. Even though we do have the um, the Twisted Essence, so even if even if you did, you know, use the uh, the Blood Rage attack or whatever it's called, then you would heal some of it up. But... All right, Hoongen, Hoongen, Houngen. I don't know. It looks pretty cool though. The thing in his hand, you can't really see the by the head. What to say? I need a perfect subject for the the genie. Digin. Superstitious, secret minded, and hungry, but even so, there were some resistant. Alright, well. Anyway, so we have a good um, three champs here. Uh, there's the uh, war drummer as well. Should have you you know played that first before you attacked just because of the uh, battle hard. It doesn't matter too much though. Now, War Drummer puts this at a uh, 64 HP. War, there's no War Banner out, but if War Banner was out, he'd be at uh, 69. And if that was a level 3 uh, Battle Harden, he'd actually be at 71. So 71 HP on the club if uh, this was level 3 and stuff. But either way, yeah, no, that's really strong. Um, Battle Harden is probably. Uh, it, it's an extremely strong ability. And I, I think for years it wasn't really seen as too much. Cause it, because the reason is because it only is eight turns, right? But a lot of the time, um, a game is decided within eight turns, um, within you know four rounds. Um, so for four rounds, if you have that extra HP, you can uh, do a lot. Now, sometimes what can mess you up is if you you know let something survive with like five HP, you feel like oh I got away, I'm so happy, and then all of a sudden they just die to the uh, the battle heart and wearing off. That can be annoying. All right, so we just saw the. Um, Frigid Barrier cast, all these champions taking damage. Um, the, the worst is really, you know, the these these two. You, you gotta watch out now for the Gale Force as well. Gale Force could be dangerous here. Um, that's one spell that's 45 Nora used, whereas um, Daver playing SP, you know, he kept deploying. This is a, a spell used. Now they're kind of trapped inside of here, but also there's no ranged out for Neppy that I can see, unless this is an Invis champ. Yeah, there's no range out for them. So even if they're trapped in here, they're not really, you know, they can't get to something or something like that. Now we could see this chilling scale go down here. Wouldn't really matter though. Probably. Yeah, you can attack this. Kill it. Yes, he's going to kill the wrister and then I can engage. But if he engages, that's not the best idea just because the club is there who can actually, um, with 1-2 range attack over the barrier. Alright, so yeah, he can just double tap now. Um, he is at 4 speed because of the uh, Frozen. Um, frozen plus being on ice terrain means he's at 4 speed. He can hit the um, Chilling Scale once, heal up for 4. And he also hit with the Aeroid Rift Lord once if he wants. Definitely wants to hit with the, the Hoongen first though. Alright. So what are we going to see, right? Well, I want to see um, what can we see coming up soon or, you know, 
in the future. Yeah, see, there's a there's a drain. You can throw a boulder. Wants to attack with the twisted essence first, though. Ah, okay, unless he's going, of course, to the aspect of infinity, because you want to kill him before you can uh, duplicate. That's good though, because of the uh, decaying uh, means he can't actually uh, regen up anymore. So I should take some damage instead. Um, flame strike, flame siphon, flame strike. Wow, 60 HP. Holy cow. Hmm, what the fuck is this? Anyway, it's still 4 to 4 right now. Now it's 5 to 4. Yeah, that's what Shadow Peaks wants to do. If Shadow Peaks can do something like this, where they took some damage, but they're not dead, and they keep deploying while uh, the other, you know, the others aren't deploying, they might kind of start getting ahead. Um, so this is where uh, Neppy has to watch out if he keeps playing spells, unless he, like, he has to get a kill, right, if he's playing spells. Let's see, 12, 4, he has 4 plus the um, exertion, we get 5, 9... 5 plus 3, 8. So if he goes over here and uses Exertion, you can actually double tap the uh, home gun. Right? It's 4, so 9 minus 4 is 5, plus 3 from the Exertion means he's at 8, so you can double tap. So that's 24, so it would be exactly at 12 HP left. So he would need 12 damage. Or no, but because of the chard, he'll need 8 damage to kill the home gun. Does he have 8 damage in any way? That's what he's looking for. This could be a force barrier. This looks like yeah. So force barrier is kind of scary here because um, because a force barrier into a uh, a gale force is kind of like you can't do much against it. You kind of just get hit for 15 damage for all the champs in there, right? So it's a little dangerous. Now this Aspect Infinity is also in danger though because he's kind of in range. Oh wait, no, never mind. He's not in range. So there is a there is a you know prism type thing here, so he can't actually get around unless he plays um, paper wings. Paper wings could pounce, but he wouldn't be able to uh, pummel. Now there could be a uh, a slaver's whip. I move him one, two, three. Slaver's whip is probably a good, pretty good idea here. Um, just if he battle jumps slaver whip, or is he just gonna battle jump now? He won't get the Nora though for. I mean the AP, he won't have the AP, like he wants to kill the Aspect Infinity, so I thought he would Slaver's Whip, pull the Aspect Infinity, and then uh, pummel it. That would have gotten a kill. This is kind of dangerous of Club, right? It's kind of in an awkward position here. A little dangerous. Alright, so he moves Club up pretty far. He's still decaying, so he's still not getting an HP. He's actually, uh, he just took some, he didn't even take any damage. Alright, so Arc, Arc Blade right now. 14, 11, 7. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Well, a lot of damage on that Hoongan. Probably one spell and he's dead. Um, I can't see any way where he can get the kill though with just champs. So he's going to have to use a spell here, right? But that's fine. Both SL as well. I mean, sorry, um, FS as well as ST have some okay spells for this. You can see like a. Either a Gale Force or a. Uh, ice spell, whatever it's called. Ice storm, frost storm. I don't know. Yeah, no battle drum used yet. All right, so there's a gale force. He'll die to char or to chard. Yeah, so the hoon will die to chard. Uh, Eroy Rift Lord is kind of in a dangerous position. He does have that uh, oblivion shield though, which makes him a little bit more tanky, uh, a little bit harder to kill. So hoon getting dead. Does have to watch out though for the after infinity not dying, right? So if he moves the Aspect of Infinity away, um, then Club could go up here. And because he just played a spell, I'm not sure if he has the Nora to actually deploy. And if he moves the Chilling Scale in, he's probably dead. If the Chilling Scale moves in, he can double tap, but Chilling Scale will die here. Um, it doesn't really matter because he's, he's done quite a bit of damage now. Yeah, I can put Frost Dance on because of the uh, Catalyst. So now we can see a, um, a Pummel that will actually be... Yeah, that'll be enough damage no matter what, because it's 14, right? So that'd be 13-13, um, that's 26. So Chilling Scale is dead. Um, but what we don't know, let's see, what else can he kill here? Definitely wants a Battle Drum, right? I mean, yeah, I guess he doesn't have to. Because if he Battle Drums, then he doesn't have to use Pummel. Or he could, 1, 2, 3, 4. 
just gonna pummel. Alright, so he's dead. We saw that, but he takes even more damage from the uh, catalyst. Gets the Nora Globe, can even get this one as well. So he gets both Nora Globes. He might just want to keep deploying then. Your Shatter Peaks, it's 3 to 4. Keep deploying. Don't don't play any spells here. Yeah, just retreat, retreat, and keep playing uh, Keep playing champs, right? Alright, and more, okay, that's good. So even more uh, arrow Rifts, or more uh, thingies. 9 damage, okay. Better than the second I guess. I guess you are more afraid of the Rocks and Glaive in a, in a sense. Oh, he was looking for a good flame burst, but it didn't really end up. It's it's an okay flame burst, right? We have some. We have one right behind him. He's also by doing a flame burst like this, he'll take ten extra damage. You know, just evasive, so he'll actually not take that much from my uh, flame burst. He'll take more. Um, so he'll take five plus ten. He'll take fifteen. Um, oh. Okay, I totally forgot that that was vertical push. I didn't even see that. So yeah, it's four versus four. Or versus five. One, two, three, four, five. Versus four. And this arrow reflect's kind of in danger. So after Oblivion Shield is procced, we have a double tap here. I was gonna just use a poison cloud, I'm guessing. Is the club dead? I don't Oh we there's a flame strike here, right? Flame strike, poison cloud, can he attack? He already used Arc Blade. Four. It's close. One spell, I think, is, and uh, club might be good. Um, let's see. What's happening now? Sell the poison. Sell the flame strike. Like I said. I think the uh, arc play is still on cooldown, actually. All right. Well, that's all. Yeah. See, that's what's kind of dangerous here. Um, first of all, he's not in range of the weakened spells, so he actually took the damage, right? Um, secondly, right, that's fine. secondly, uh, you know, there hasn't been a battle drum yet. You wanna the battle? All right. So he's dead to the poison, I guess, or to the um, charred plus poison. Yeah. So club is dead. And if he doesn't watch out, War Drummer might die as well. Um, what we can see here, though, is a Flame Burst. Flame Burst the Glaive into the um, Elemental will do a lot of damage to both these champs. And this is a lot of damage. Holy cow. Why did he set up this way? This is really dangerous here. If we uh, Flame Burst this Glaive... There might be a Poison Trap right here, though, right? Which would kind of be a trap. Alright, there isn't. So Flame Burst, they'll actually take a lot of damage this way in all. So that's 15 on him. Plus another 15, that's 20, no, 34 damage dealt right there. Um, he can't hit, so. He did take the font, or he's contesting it. He is not dead. He'll die charred, 3 plus 2. So, Frostwing Blade, oh wait, no, Aura? No, I can't actually, put, unless he leaps over. Alright, GG. Yeah, no, that was game, because Dabber took the font, and um, the Blade was about to die, so. GG.